All right, welcome to the video. Um, I want to thank you first of all for coming and watching it. It means a lot to me. Um, I want to let you know that this is going to be showing you different stretches. That way you can get your splits and make sure you get your splits right. Um, first of all, before we start anything, I want to share a little secret to you guys. Uh, it's basically how you stretch and how you hold your stretches. Uh, it's really important to keep your stretches for at a minimum of 30 seconds and go up to two minutes. That way you can get your stretch, um, make sure you get it the all you can out of the stretch. Oh, sorry, I got tongue tied. Um, make sure you get all you can out of the stretch and uh, when you're in it, you want to make sure you get to the point where you're kind of uncomfortable in the stretch, but not where you have like a sharp pain. And if you're uncomfortable, that means that you're getting the most out of the stretch that you can. And if you do it that way, then you can get the stretch and you can hold the flexibility for a lot longer. Um, you want to make sure that you have fun when you stretch. It doesn't have to be a chore or anything that like you feel like you have to do every day. Um, make it fun. Uh, watch TV while you do it. I like to read a book. I also like to listen to music. Um, if I get a good song playing, then I can hold a stretch for just the length of the song instead of having to, you know, sit there and count how long I'm sitting in the stretch. So um, if you do that, then you can just relax and not have to worry about it. Um, goal planning is really important for stretching. Uh, it's always good to set goals and you don't want to set a goal that's just like way big and there's like no way you can get it. Set a goal and then put baby steps for it. Right now my goal is the over splits and um, over straddle but that's a pretty big goal so I have I want to get my splits down and get them down the right way with the proper alignment and then I'll work up my splits until eventually I have uh, the splits that I want and I want a um, one foot over split so that's my goal right now and I'm working at that and you know make sure you set time aside to work on your stretching because if you do that then you'll be able to uh, get your goal and you know just focus on it and if you set your goals you can reach them so set goals, set baby steps, set stuff that you can do, and once you get them accomplished, you feel so much better about yourself. You're just so proud, and it's definitely worth it. When you stretch, you want to remember a few things. You remember to breathe. Um, I'm a contortionist, and if I don't breathe when I'm doing back bends, then I get bad, bad headaches. So breathing for me is really important. So I've learned to you know focus on my breathing. And with stretching, I mean, you can't get really, really bad headaches, but you can get uh, to a point where, you know, you kind of feel lightheaded or so breathing is really important. So make sure you breathe. Uh, you also want to watch your form because you don't want to relearn something. I learned my splits wrong. I didn't know that there was the right way to do it and there was proper alignment. So I'm learning them the right way now and it is just a big pain and I wish I learned them the right way the first time. It would have made things so much easier and it's not worth having to do something two times. So make sure you learn your form. Always watch your form while you're stretching to make sure you're doing everything right. You also want to uh, remember that flexibility is gradual. You can't just wake up one day and have the over splits. You need to, you know, work at it, work at it, work at it. And even if you don't see really big improvement after a couple days, uh, don't give up on yourself because sometimes you can't see it and you can't see yourself progressing, but you really are. So don't give up on yourself and just remember that if you're stretching and if you're stretching the right way, then you're probably gaining flexibility. You might not be able to see it. Um, get into your stretches slowly. You don't want to hurt yourself right before you get into um, a stretch because sometimes if you just rush into the splits, and you don't do lunges or something first, then you can really hurt yourself. So make sure you always go into something slowly, make sure your body's nice and warmed up before you go into any um, big stretching. And always remember your secret, which is 30 seconds to two minutes of stretching. Um, some people don't know exactly what to wear when they stretch. I always like to wear something that's you know comfortable, that's flexible, that I can move around in. I had a friend who, was at school and she went into her splits and she was wearing jeans 
and she ripped her pants like right down the back and she was at school and she had to go find some clothes to change into and it was really embarrassing so you don't want anything like that to happen so make sure that you wear something nice and comfortable and that can move and you don't have to worry about breaking um also it's always good to eat healthy it's just it makes you feel a lot better um i just recently graduated from high school and the last week that i was in uh doing finals and getting ready for graduation everything was so busy and I didn't eat uh, as healthy as I could have. I ate a lot of food that was just really fast for me to get and not really good for me. And at the end of the week, I just, you know, felt kind of like slower than normal and I didn't feel as like, I don't know, happy, I guess. I'm not necessarily happy, but just um, excited about stuff and as good as I normally feel. And then after that, I started eating better and I feel a lot better. And you just get more energy and people who eat better live longer so eating good is just a good thing to do just to get yourself in good shape and then stretching is also really good so you know make sure you stay healthy and you'll be happy um for the stretching times you want to remember your secret but also you want to repeat your stretches more than once so if you go down to touch your toes hold it for 30 seconds to two minutes and then you come up and then go down again and try to go down a little bit farther so go do it about two or three times and get further each time and that'll help with your flexibility a lot so remember your secret which is really important 30 seconds to two minutes for each stretch to get the most out of the stretch make sure to have fun have a friend come over to help you read a book listen to music do whatever you can to make uh, stretching interesting and fun and it'll make the time go by so much faster and you'll have more time and more fun with it set goals set goals that you can accomplish set goals that you can be proud of yourself when you get them um, just believe in yourself and you'll be able to do stuff uh, remember breathing your form uh, flexibility is gradual get into stretches slowly uh, remember not to wear jeans because you don't want to rip them <laughs> so wear things that are flexible and easy to move in, eat healthy, it'll make you feel great a lot better. Uh, remember your stretching times, uh, that helps just to keep your flexibility and uh, get your flexibility. So, you know, a couple times, a couple sets of 30 seconds each is a good stretch. Um, a couple things, just random things that might help if you take a shower before you stretch your muscles are a lot more relaxed so you can get more stretching done I took a shower before um, I started these videos my hair is um, I think it's almost dry but um, it was wet earlier um, so just you know be happy be excited to stretch have fun with it you know just if you do that then I don't know you'll be flexible and you'll have your goals set and everything will be good and you will be excited and ready to go and i'm excited i hope you're excited to watch the rest of the videos i'm excited to show them to you i hope you have fun i hope you enjoy them if you do enjoy them tell your teachers because you know that's a good thing all right so i will see you in a second and i hope you enjoy them all right